Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Black Operation 1 and welcome to the next episode of Cartel Tycoon. We are back on the, well, next part of the story mode, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't actually checked out my Cartel Tycoon playlist or any of my content on Tar Kite, uh, Cartel Tycoon, then there is a link at the top there. Please go check that out. And also, um, please, guys, you, uh, right, um, you need to... Um, um, Okay, you got to hit that notification button, the little bell icon, um, on don't buy the subscribe button, guys, because there's a lot of people not getting notified on new content released, and or you know on when I'm releasing new content, and not only that, with YouTube, I don't know, YouTube's going through a funny stage at the moment where it's not notifying people properly so please make sure you hit that and put notify all so you get notified from content that i release and uh, yeah so that's all i need to say to begin with let's just jump straight into this and hope you guys enjoy so uh where are we so last episode i think we overtook the or started we set up the seaport trade route so that's good so we need to talk to the mayor now of port Roja region so let's get, that's not even the place I want to be. Where is the place I want to be? Thank you. So let's talk to the mayor. Let's see what the mayor would like. Um, they say that as the mayor, you are responsible for everything in this region. Hello. Yes, you are right about that. Well, then you need to know what I'm, t you need to know that I'm taking control of this region. Hmm, well, there's a story I've heard a few times around here. We are going to need to come to some sort of understanding. I can negotiate with significant people, but you will have to help me in return. It's definitely no accident that you become a mayor, all right? Name your terms. Right, okay, so we've just unlocked the loyalty bar, and we've got to do power of the trust, or power of trust, sorry. Increase public loyalty level to acceptance. So, come on, give me my task, thank you. Uh, let's clear these, I know all this. Because I have been, obviously, like I said, been playing this game a lot on the sandbox mode, so I know a lot about the mechanics and how this game works. Um, but there's obviously new people who haven't actually seen any of the Cartoon Tycoon content. So, we're, you know, from, like, this point onwards. So I'm going to be trying to read and show you everything a little bit slower than I did on that first episode. But obviously not too slow. Right, so control two, we need for increasing and loyalty level build a salsa club and open salsa club in Amado and donate eight thousand four hundred clean or legal money to a special event for reaching a, for reaching loyalty level acceptance. So we need to build a salsa club, which is here. Uh, we're going to do it in dirty money because we have eighteen grand, uh, fifty grand in dirty money. We only need eighteen grand. Um, How is our actual businesses doing here? So we have not many vegetables, but we have enough opium. Maybe we should set up a, I don't know, vegetables. The vegetable farm's all right. We're going to be upgrading to f um, farm two soon. So we're going to be increasing. Why is it? I need to put the speed up. Um, we'll be increasing the rate the produce gets produced anyway with the upgrade for the farms. Um, we do have a lot of money stashed here at the seaport, but we need to leave that for the time being. Um, I'm actually going to leave them there because I'm going to need them. Uh, let's clear this one. So we're just literally waiting on the... Actually, I haven't even got any money going to it. Let's get some money going to it first. That might help. I suppose. We need to get money going. We need to build this thing. Come on. So we have enough legal money to run this event I'm just uh, hoping we have enough stashed uh, dirt money which we don't okay that's cool we have nothing to sell at the harbor what's going on here why isn't my seaport river pier it is connected why isn't it showing it's connected that should be showing it's connected but it's not oh uh, logistics got turned off okay Nice one. Thank you, game. When did that happen? Okay, so now we are starting to send goods to the pier. We have goods going over here. We've got vegetables going over here. No, I don't want vegetables. Right, so if you set up a trade route or route 
for uh, for instance we have the trans so the transport company we can set up routes that we want the goods to go to for instance we have the pier and we have the seaport um, now as you can see with the seaport we're also getting normal vegetables but we don't want normal vegetables we want packaged goods because we want to be selling drugs for the packaged goods that's the whole point of the seaport is so you can sell basically you know they only they only basically take legal produce okay um, so in order to ship drugs through we got to package it in other products yeah in legal products but as you can see we have vegetables which is the legal product getting sent without being packaged with drugs which isn't going to make us much money yeah especially vegetables are only it's only four dollars a crate um so what we need to do is disable just being able you know just the sale of um <coughs> legal produce through the harbor we just want to sell containers of legal and illegal um, product so turning that off at the harbor will stop the transport of le of legal stuff by itself being put up to their seaboard okay so little hint there if you didn't know about that uh, I need to actually mm, how much are we due for there 2,000 from the pier 4,000 from there okay is the Salsa Club built yet? No, because we're running out of dirty money. But that's fine. We're going to get some. I, I didn't realise the game had stopped the transportation of opium to the River Pier. So, we kind of got screwed on that. Vegetables seem to still be a pain. Um, I need to unpause that. I've got to pay with clean cash for that one. And that one. But that's fine. That's not going to hurt us. Or it's 36,000. Yes, I could transfer that over, but I am going to need that money. You'll see that in a second. You'll see why I need that. But we've got two grand coming over here to finish the construction of the salsa. Hopefully. With a bit of luck. Or is it take? It might be actually taking it straight to there. Okay. Take it to the taxi company then. Not by the one in the salsa. Come on, give me the salsa club. And everybody loves a good salsa. Especially with, you know, some uh, tortilla chips or something. Okay, so we're not really producing. I don't think we're actually producing these packaged goods fast enough. Now, as we progress, uh, you know, through the um, uh, you know, through the research capabilities of the game, and that we are going to be able to upgrade the workshop, which will produce goods a little bit quicker, etc., etc. But we're only producing like eight crates at a time, which is pretty slow. I know we don't really have the funds at the moment, but I'm thinking about building a second workshop just to double up the production of the crate goods. We can just put it as long as it's in, like the uh, you know the radius of what's that called? Oh yeah, the warehouse. <laughs> as long as it's in the radius of the warehouse, it doesn't matter. So let's stick it about here because we can connect it to there and just to make it equal I'm going to put one there as well okay so that there will get built over time and yeah we're just it's just literally product like I said I could transfer that 39 grand over but I'm kind of saving that and you'll see why eventually Salsa Club is getting made, you know, getting built, sorry, so that's good. We might be able to actually finish this one. Um, whereas the good production, yeah, it is kind of, it is at a standstill, but it's fine. It's not a problem, guys. We'll get there, don't worry. Okay, so the Salsa Club has been built and our workshop has been built now. So let's run a festival for 8,400 to complete Control 2. And Control 3 is, is just basically take control of Port Roja by, by fulfilling two more of the mayor's conditions. Alright, so second condition he wants domination, which is eliminate enemy gang presence in Port Roja. So we're going to want to move our henchmen here. 
are Sicarios from there to here. I have an itchy bank, so it's great. Let's wipe this one out and this one out. That's all we need to do, isn't it? Yes, that is all we need to do. And that shouldn't take long for them. We are going to build terror fence, which might get us into the DEA territory. But that's quite easy. DEA is quite easy. We just got to shut down like the piers or the seaports for a specific amount of in-game days, and that will stop the investigation of that. Okay, so we've overtook that one. Let's move to here. Yep, thank you. Six against one. Nice. Okay, why aren't we getting a product here? Let's have a look. So, uh, transport company. We need to add workshop. And yeah, we do have the presence of DEA now. Which is a fantastic, if you ask me. Come on, I need you to deliver to here, please. Let's put a road, because I should be able to put a road down to there. Yeah, so that's 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 going to start delivering vegetables and opium there. So that's cool. Uh, right, so gang presence has been dealt with now we need to deliver 30,000 cash this is why I was building this cash up let's grab one of our Sicarios here let's get rid of that one I'm not going to use these at the moment don't want to be paying money for something that you know, it's not really going to come in handy for us and thank you deliver 30,000 and that'll do and then bring the other one over. Actually, is that one connected to our residence? I don't think it's actually connected to our residence, no. So let's connect to the seaport to our residence so it transfers the money directly over. Okay, so we're nearly done with the takeover. We nearly own Port of Roja. Okay, now we can come here and acquire the city. I've fulfilled my end of the bargain, now this region is mine. Yes, it's all yours, nice doing business with you. And, I sense there's something further. Well, there is one small unresolved detail. Not everyone agreed to work for the bandits. What do you mean, exactly? Are you trying to tell me to go fuck myself? No, quite the opposite. I'm offering to become part of the cartel. I can carry out special assignments for you and get these troublemakers to play ball. Or, I could make sure that the troublemakers disappear. Okay, get started. I need this region. All right, I can see that you're no slouch. Go ahead. I need this region. I have big plans for it, as you wish. So we and have now taken control of Podoroja. Okay, which is good, and we've unlocked Residence One. So that's even better. Not that we really need it. That's only if we you know, when we move over to this section. Okay, because I bet there's some very good resources over here. Uh, cannabis is good. We have uh, opium. No coke, unfortunately, but that's fine. We still have some good, good land over there, which is nice. Right now, you have access to research center in Port Roger. Open it and research tier two farms, uh, which we don't have enough for, because it's a grant. So we need to bring in some more legal cash, which isn't going to take long, guys. So I'm gonna get. Well, actually, no, I don't need to wait because this is well, it's only for 1800. So yeah, I'm gonna wait until I got enough to research um, the farms too, and then guys, I'll bring you back in. All right, right, okay. So guys, um, I've got us to 58,000, which means we can now research farm two. Let's get that one on the go. But I've been going through the funds here, and we are looking tidy for legal money in but but dirty money in we're not okay we're on minus thirteen thousand uh we're only getting fifty eight thousand for opium and seventy one thousand we're spending seventy one thousand on expenditures yeah well sixty nine now but uh yeah we need to bring in more dirty money now there is obviously a couple of ways we could do this we could obviously set up uh, more opium so more you know more opium farms so opium goes out we're spe selling more opium, so to say. Um, mind you, I do actually need to deliver this cash. So I've made a couple of adjustments. Uh, I've took off, or put the circus onto our residence. So we have a connection straight to the circus to deliver money there to 
you know, bring in or create that legal money. Or launder that legal money, should I say, sorry, my bad. And uh, so I'll be basically put a lieutenant onto the pier to deliver cash to our residents, which I completely forgot, but never mind. <laughs> but yeah, so we are kind of not looking good for dirty money. And dirty money, we do need to make, obviously, legal money. And if we run out of dirty money, then we're going to eventually run out of legal money. So what we need to do is get Farm 2 researched. And then I'm also thinking of getting the drawing rack researched, depending on how much it's going to cost. Or we could go down the route of using uh, 30,000 of our dirty money. Because remember, we did unlock the aerodrome. Uh, we could, cr you know, well, I say dirty money or legal money. Probably legal money because we're actually bringing in legal money. But I say we build an aerodrome. So we got a third way of moving goods. And I think that's the best, just the best possible way of doing it. So we first need to find somewhere to put an aerodrome. Uh, we can put one there. So let's get that done. This could be a bad mistake. All right, guys. This don't. <laughs> this could be the worst mistake going. But we will see. We will soon find out. Well, we've done farm two. That's done, which is cool. Um, we've now unlocked chemical plant one as well. Knowledge of power is done. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, da, 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 da. so Porto Roja, the mayoral office. Miguel watches over the city like a house cat watches over a bird bath. There is a knock at the door. Miguel beckons and Caesar enters. Caesar, my friend, I'm sorry to hear about your mother's condition. She is a good woman and has the lord and a loyal son watching over her. Gracias, Miguel. Miguel, sorry. <laughs> Plan to visit her tonight. It's been a while since we talked. I can spare you. I can't spare you, I'm afraid. You have done good work in securing the city. We have bought ourselves a useful ally in the mayor and myself. A new nice new office. Old friends have been in contact. Byers. Miguel turns back to the window. See. Uh, being in this business, it's like standing in front of a thousand locked doors. Behind some are nothing others, money and authority. Notority, yeah, you know what I mean. It's wise not to ignore opportunity when it comes to knocking. Miguel, these precious verses of yours. This is important, Caesar. All it takes is one slip for a door to slam shut in your face. I can make a deal with these people. You don't want to disappoint them. Or else, on your head be it. See, I'll be ready. Right, okay, so we do have a new, obviously, new mission, new um, quest, which is make a deal. But unfortunately, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and, you know, learned a thing or two and, you know, whatever. But if you learned, if you have enjoyed it, um, please smash that thumbs up button, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and show your support. And uh, yeah, so this is from T Cartel Tycoon and from me. Until next time, have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.